Well, the 13th annual Show Me Shorts Film Festival showcases some of the very best short films from across the globe, made by some of the world's most talented filmmakers. It will be shown at more than 25 cinemas across the country, from Kaitaia to Stewart Island. Festival director and co-founder Gina Della Barca joins us now to tell us all about it. Welcome, Gina. Hi, thanks for having me. Really nice to have you here. We've just been having a total gossip about movies <laughs> yeah. off, off camera. <laughs> so what made you decide to start the Show Me Shorts Film Festival? Ah, oh, this was 13 years ago and I was just looking for a fun project to do with friends and I was managing a cinema at the time and there wasn't a kind of national short film festival for New Zealand so we just thought we'd start one. <laughs> And uh, the first year we just screened in one cinema in Auckland and people came along and then every year after that we added a few more cinemas and yeah now and it's... people keep coming? Yeah, now it's everywhere across the country, Kaitaia to Stewart Island and uh, it's just a really cool opportunity for New Zealanders to see the best films from here and around the world. Why do you think short films are important? Uh, short films are often made at the beginning of filmmakers' careers, so they can be a great kind of starting point. They're also, because they're, they cost less money, they can be a great um, place to experiment with different types of filmmaking and test out their team to mm. make sure they've got a great filmmaking team. Mm. And some stories just fit short film genre better. They do. How many films are involved with this year's festival? So we had about 2,000 entries and we've, Far out. yeah, my team and I have selected the top 50 and... Uh, wow, and so what happens to the, the ones that win? Uh, so the, um, the top two awards in the festival are Oscar qualifying, so wow. those filmmakers can um, enter the Academy Awards, which is pretty exciting. There's lots of other prizes too, cash and um, uh, memberships to industry guilds, but I think those are the, the ones that the filmmakers oh, yeah. really vie for. Oh yeah, and the prestige as well. Okay, let's talk about some of the New Zealand shorts that are in it, because we've got four New Zealand shorts making their world premiere. We do. I can remember last year talking about this one, 21 points, with Josh Tom and Robin Malcolm yeah. and animation which is out of this world. Amazing, this is one of my favourite films in the festival, it's so great. It's about um, a grown man who's um, never stopped believing in his imaginary friend who's this kind of quite inappropriate robot. He is a very inappropriate <laughs> yeah. robot. In fact, should we take a quick look? Yeah, Let's please. take a look. So, how is the table tennis tonight? Who's winning? We don't really need to ask that question. I am undefeated in this universe. Oh! Oh, shit! 27 years I tried to win one imaginary game of table tennis. Now you think about that for a minute. I told you, guy will not come in here anymore. It wasn't me, Jesus. It was him. You're not five anymore. Come on, Lisa. That is so good. We, we had Robin Malcolm on last year talking about getting funding, which she obviously did get. So what do you love about that film? Uh, it's just um, so surprising. Like, um, I haven't seen a film with a robot as the main character that's so animated and that you actually really care about him on his journey. But it's also kind of talks a little bit about touches on depression. So it's a film that makes you, makes you feel kind of touched as well as makes you laugh. And mm. that's so hard to do in such a short time frame. Amazing. A another one I've had the pleasure of seeing is One Day. It's about OCD, a, a story, I guess, that doesn't get told a lot. So this is why short films are important. I loved this. Yeah. Quite deep. Chelsea Preston Crayford She's stars amazing. in that. Amazing. She's amazing. Um, it's a really powerful film, all set in one room mm. inside a bathroom. Really nice bathroom too, by the way. Yeah, it is very nice. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, we've got a clip of that too, so let's show mm. a little bit, shall we? Great. Just because I think it is doesn't make it so. Just because I think it is doesn't make it so. because I think it is, doesn't make it so. Just because I think it is, doesn't make it so. 
Now, she is an incredible actress, and Amazing. she absolutely makes that short film. It is really, really good. Now, one I really like, too, was called Toilet. Uh, Tell yeah. us about this. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so this is a film about a vindictive toilet. So when <laughs> when people are, like, not clean in there, if they pee on the seat or if they do something inappropriate in there, the toilet will punish them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't say more than that because I don't want to give it away. Yeah. But the production values are amazing. Yes. The toilet itself is, like, kind of like looks amazing, it's, it's beautiful. And another New Zealand one too, Delivery. I really like this one too. Yeah, that, so that one's set in Auckland, um, like a delivery man delivering fast food. It's made by Stephen Kang, um, who's a Korean New Zealander. And we interestingly also have a Korean focus section of the program this year. So there's a whole lot of other Korean films. But this one is really outstanding. He mm. makes great short films. And it's cool to see that kind of gritty underbelly side of Auckland that this really comes from. Yeah, it does. It's, it's it's just amazing the how it makes Auckland look so grotty, doesn't it? It, does. it really does. <laughs> really, really good films. All quite dark, but I guess there's some comedy and things in there as well. So oh, yeah. just, to, just to keep things light. Hey, well, so many good films to watch. Yeah. Thank you for joining Brilliant. us. Pleasure. And as we said earlier, the Show Me Shorts Film Festival is going to screen at more than 25 cinemas from all across the country, from Kaitai to Stewart Island. You can check out the Show Me Shorts website or this handy dandy brochure for details and yeah, dates. Yeah, make sure you do love them. So thank you so much, Gina, for popping in today. Head along, have some great entertainment and short bursts, which I love. <laughs>